What if you could power your car with a device that never needs fuel, never needs charging, and costs just $10,000 to install? Sounds too good to be true? Zimbabwean inventor Maxwell Chikambutso claims it's possible, and he's now put a price tag on his controversial microsonic energy technology, and also the price of a new Safe Technologies car. Would you spend the money without seeing proof that it works as advertised? Let me know in the comments. As promised, Maxwell has revealed the cost for his groundbreaking microsonic energy system. For $10,000, you'll get a complete kit that includes the microsonic energy device itself, a motor controller, an integrated controller, a vehicle control system, an onboard compressor, a hybrid dashboard, and an electric steering pump. The device boasts an impressive RPM range of 2,000 to 6,500, with peak power output ranging from 110 kilowatts to a staggering 700 kilowatts. It also delivers a rated torque of 240 Newton meters, peaking at 5,700 Newton meters, enough to handle even the most demanding driving conditions. On its own, the Microsonic device is built to last and to endure harsh conditions. With an ingress protection rating of 67, it's completely dust tight, meaning no amount of dust will interfere with its operation. It's also waterproof, capable of being submerged in up to one meter of water for 30 minutes without damage, which makes it powerful and also incredibly durable, designed to withstand the rigors of everyday use, especially for off-road adventures or regions prone to flooding. If retrofitting isn't your style, Maxwell's company, Saith Technologies, offers a pre-built vehicle with a microsonic system already installed for $15,000. For just $5,000 more, you can get a whole new car with the technology already integrated. The only problem, as of now, no one knows the full specs or features of this vehicle beyond the fact that it includes the microsonic device. What's the top speed? What about safety features or interior design and more features that car enthusiasts love? These details remain a mystery, leaving potential buyers with more questions than answers. But the biggest problem is where can you actually buy one? Despite the price reveal, Maxwell and Scyth Technologies haven't provided any information on how or where to purchase the device or the vehicle. No dealerships, no online stores, no order forms, just silence. For a car that doesn't need charging, if we just see someone driving it for 24 hours straight without needing a charge, I am sure Maxwell will get hundreds of thousands of orders. So far, the only validations that we have gotten that this device works are from Maxwell's friends, like this pastor who claims to have seen it with his own eyes 10 years ago, when a half megawatt device made by Maxwell powered an entire building for a full day. But this was 10 years ago, and to date still, no one in Zimbabwe has access to this free energy for their homes. Listen to what he said. Somebody is asking a question, so what does a pastor have to do with energy? <laughs> It all starts in the spirit, I guess. So it goes back, all the way back around early 2000s. And this young man called Max was in a church, which I happened to be his youth pastor during that time. And after praying and whilst he was in a church, he gets this revelation. And the Lord gave him the word that said the Lord. And that's where the name said comes from. It just came from the aspect of that said the Lord. And so over the years, Max has struggled and um, maneuvered and developed to explore and to understand the God-given talent that he, he knows in him. So at the first instance, uh, around 1999, I may, I may mix up my dates, I'm, I'm not as young anymore. Around 1999, he came up with this first pro, uh, shocking thing. So he came up with this radio transmitter and uh, it was all over the news. And I, I remember that time then he was asked to shut it down. Long story, uh, making it short, over the years, he then started working out the aspect of energy. And uh, um, from 2000, somewhere there, we, we, we distanced ourselves, we went apart. And so when I came back around 2009, we reconnected. And he told me the story that he has finally gotten a breakthrough in 
building an energy source that is going to change the world. So it was the generator. It was the microsonic energy device. And so over the years, he has worked on to scale it up. And uh, around 2016, 2015, 2016, he came up with a half megawatt. I mean, some of you were coming in, you saw the, on, the, on, the, uh, on one of the billboards, he came up with a half megawatt prototype. And he called me and said, Pastor, I've done a half megawatt, and I believe this can power out houses. And I said, are you sure? Then he said, yes, come and see it. So I went to his office in Bluffield then, and uh, I spent the whole day there and said, okay, you know, I, I'm a pastor, but pastors are also allowed to doubt. So can you prove it to me? <laughs> and then he said, okay. So he powered the whole building, and the whole day I was there, the whole building was going on, uh, you know, with the half megawatt that he had built in. Moving forward, some few years ago, he then got in a connection with some, a scientist who was brought in by one of our friends, Foster Gambo. He brought in a scientist and he had taken his machine in a container uh, at the celebration church. And the scientists came in and they wanted to prove whether what Max claims is really uh, producing energy. So they came in, they did put in a heavy payload. I'm not saying something that I read, I'm saying something that I witnessed. I was there, so I was an eyewitness. So they put it there drained the machine for three and a half hours with a heavy payload. And after that, when they went back to measure the batteries, lo and behold, the batteries were full. And the engineer, the engineer was alarmed. And he said, I've never seen like anything like this. I could see Foster almost shedding out tears. But the journey has been long. And uh, I have an experience of working with investors. One of the things that I've learned over the years working with Marx is uh, in inventors, some of them are so are perfectionist. So Marx loves perfectioning things. And so over the years, he kept on doing it and doing it and doing it. And I mean, I was surprised to see that the same thing has actually gone back to a very small unit that can actually be taken by an individual family to power out their house. So, ladies and gentlemen, as we are gathering here, my witness and testimony is to say this. We are in a moment in our generation where we are beginning to see extraordinary works and acts of skill that God imparts in his people. I know many people don't want to hear God and technology, but let me prove that for you. It is very clear in the Bible, it is God who gives people gifts. And he says in his word, I've put my spirit in Bezal, the spirit of craftsmanship. So it is God who implants the spirit in people to be innovative, to be creative, and to uh, come up with new innovations. So today we stand here to see the microsonic energy device is the thing that we are gathered to see here. The car is a product. It is not the main thing. The real thing that is going to change the world is the microsonic energy device which Max will be explaining shortly. So welcome to this journey. I would want to say a safe uh, Mark and the team are also exploring the journey, and let's explore the journey together and believe God for this supernatural wisdom that is in Lord for this generation to change the world. So welcome into the journey, and we'll, let's experience it together. Thank you very much to the man of God, Pastor Katsande and Maxwell. My task is very easy today. 
much as I am a keynote speaker, but I've also come a long way uh, with Max. I think after hearing of his uh, innovations that were disruptive and defying uh, the laws of physics, I made it a point that I visited him. And it led me to his factory and laboratory. And I was as disturbed, confused, as most of the comments that we are seeing today on social media, which regrettably lack any information and are not factual about what is on the ground. I've touched and experienced the phenomenal unbelievable power that is coming out of the microsonic energy technology. I want to acknowledge the dignitaries that are here, uh, some that are viewing this um, on social media, online, I also want to acknowledge the CEO and uh, Say Holdings uh, Technologies Board and uh, the key men driving these technologies, Maxwell uh, Chukumbuzo. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, innovators, I know there are innovators in this room, industry leaders, members of the Fourth Estate who are here present, friends and technology, friends of technology, good evening to all of you. It is indeed a privilege and an honor to stand before you today at this remarkable occasion at the launch of Say 